Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, we are going to discuss uh, the educational code forces round that was held today, one zero three, rated for Div two. Uh, we are going to discuss the problem D of this uh, contest. Yeah. So first of all, I'll sum up the question for you guys. Um, the question is basically uh, saying that we've got n plus one cities that are basically labeled from zero to n. Uh, and there are basically n routes uh, connecting these cities. So we could actually imagine that as a uh, you know number line uh, consisting of numbers right from zero uh, till number n. And since there would be uh, you know n gaps between them, so there are basically n routes. Um, and this is the basically thing that uh, they are actually saying that the ith road actually connects the i minus one ith and the ith um, uh, city uh, for that matter. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the question says that every road actually has a certain direction initially, and the direction is actually represented by the letters, uh, the characters capital L or capital R. Uh, if capital L that represents basically the uh, road is actually moving from right to left, and if it is right, that actually means that the road actually has a direction from left to right. Okay, so uh, so there is a basically person or a traveler who basically wants to visit visit as many cities as possible. So he, you know, tries to uh, start his journey from each and every city. Uh, so a task is to basically determine uh, how many maximum cities the traveler can visit if he starts from all the cities one by one. But the point here is uh, that after every city, and the basically, if a let's suppose basically a tourist, uh, a basically traveler starts from a city I, and somehow he is able to reach a city I plus one, the adjacent or the neighboring city. So once he reaches the neighboring city. The direction corresponding to all the roads actually changes. Uh, I would say basically reverses. L becomes R and R becomes L. So now with this, uh, you know, situation, uh, we need to keep in mind and we need to determine the maximum number of cities that the uh, traveler can actually visit uh, when he starts his journey from each of the uh, possible uh, cities. Okay. Uh, so. Uh... Okay, so uh, now the question comes: How can we actually approach this problem? Okay, so uh, in order to give you guys, uh, you know, the best test possible of all the conditions, uh, you know, I have taken this example, uh, wherein basically n is equals to six, and we've got basically n plus one cities that is from zero to six, and this is the basically string that we are given initially. So uh, the string basically of size six represents the uh, direction of the roads uh, in the initial time. Let's suppose basically at time t equals to zero. Okay, so uh, you know to get the best uh, you know insight into the question, we should look at the cities number three and five. So let's suppose basically the traveler uh, you know started uh, from the city three. So uh, being at city three, what would happen is initially he could go to the city four because the road was actually you know having its direction in the right. Okay, so when it when he actually reaches the city four. Now this L would have actually changed to R. So when this L actually changes to R, uh, R now, so he could again go to the city five. And also this L would have also become R um, in the first iteration. And when he reaches the city L, uh, reach, uh, reaches the city five, it would again actually become L. So now he cannot go to the city six. So the maximum uh, basically which he could actually reach here is uh, basically the three cities. So uh, yeah, so he could actually reach the three cities at max, uh, you know, starting at um, basically the city number three in the right direction. Okay, so could he have gone to the left direction possible at time t equals to zero? No, because uh, this at time t equals to zero itself has as r. This means basically he cannot go to the city two ever. He cannot ever go to the city number two. Okay. So now, basically, you know, comes the basic, simple, you know, uh, and uh, you know, I would say a naive observation uh, that let's suppose basically a traveler is at a city I. If he is basically at a city I, and he wants to go in the right direction, so first of all, the first uh, basically character at that particular road, basically we were at this, uh, basically the city three. So if he wants to go to the uh, next city, he uh, the character should be capital R. Okay, then basically, if he reaches the city uh, at capital R, uh, the uh, next character should be capital L, then capital R, then capital L, and so on. 
why so because at first second when he uh, because in the first second when he reaches the city uh, after you know traveling right he could again go to the next city because this l would have changed to r and when this l would have changed to r this r would have changed to l so when he reaches this particular l it would have changed to r again so now basically he could go again to the next city so basically this alternate structure for the right hand direction is the best possible scenario to reach the maximum cities similarly if this basically person uh, standing at the city i wanted to go to the uh, any city in the left so for that you know it's quite obvious that he requires this particular um a uh, you know scenario of l r l r n l and so on so basically what we need to do is so the question is totally done now what we need to do is corresponding to any city i we need to just basically find what is the maximum number of cities he can actually go to the right and what is the maximum number of cities he can actually go to the left with this particular pattern of l r l and r l r so uh, now to you know get the um, best possible uh, you know <laughs> matlab basically to get the uh, solution accepted um, in the best possible scenario we should you know optimize this particular thing because uh, you know n square is always you know tricky to implement with that i actually mean that sometimes you know it always suffers the you know um, i would say ki uh, there's always a chance of you know uh, getting tle so you know with uh, n square approach what i'm actually saying is we could uh, you know stay at this index i we could have you know uh, traversed both the directions in the right and in the left and looked for this particular pattern if you're moving to the right we require the pattern r l r and if you're moving to the left we require the pattern l r l so what we could do is we could actually you know traverse in both the directions and could find basically what is the maximum uh, number of cities we can actually visit while you know starting our journey from the index i so if you know in the worst case when this particular pattern is always true the uh, you know the complexity would rise to n square so in order to basically prevent that what we can do is we can make four vectors uh, as you know i did in my solution during the contest uh, what i did is uh, i made actually four uh, vectors uh, what are these four vectors so these vectors in a way we could you know say that we are actually using dp just to you know store the answers so what actually this lr rl would represent so let's suppose we are talking about this rl vector so this rl vector would actually be you know we could actually spell it as right left vector right left vector actually represents uh, that the uh, you know if we are at an index i so what this uh, rl of i would representing so it would be representing uh, that we want to go to the direction right we uh, actually uh, want to the matlab uh, uh, we actually yeah so uh, this uh, rl vector would actually be representing so rl of i would actually be representing uh, that uh, you know uh, what is the length of the maximum possible streak uh, from that index i where the roads have direction as l r l because it's right left basically in the right direction we are going to see the maximum possible streak um, starting from left then right then left and then right and so on so similarly what would rr be representing it would be representing we are we, we are actually going to see the first character basically represents the direction in which we are seeing so if the first character is r um, basically i have named the vector such there is no you know any such kind of a um, i would say uh, thing going on in it, but basically you know the characters i named the vectors uh, uh basically for my convenience in that manner the first character basically representing the direction in which i am actually looking uh, for the maximum possible streak so if you know if talking about rr it would actually be you know uh, the maximum length of the streak possible in the right direction that is starting from right the second character basically representing uh, that for which character or for which direction which we are actually looking so similarly for uh, the last vector lr it would actually be you know when we are looking in the left direction and the maximum possible streak whose end is actually at the ith index and having the direction as right so um, now we'll you know quickly once we have made these vectors i'll actually show you in the implementation part how we are going to make these vectors you know it's a very basic dp uh, once we have these vectors what we need to do is Uh, we need to just you know run run a loop from zero to uh, less than or equals to n because we need to print uh, the maximum number of cities corresponding to every city as the starting city. So what we'll actually gonna print? We are just gonna print the maximum number of cities in the left that we can visit, the maximum number of cities in the right we can visit plus one because we are starting from a city. So the answer would actually be equals to um, in when we are looking in the left direction. So when we are looking in the left direction, 
we require to move in the left direction so basically ll so basically ll of any city i plus rr of any city i plus one would be our uh, answer for any city i okay so so okay so now we'll uh, quickly jump on to the implementation part uh, before you know directly going into the code uh, i'll reiterate the uh, definitions for all these vectors because these are dp vectors and we should be very much you know um, convenient with and also very much sure about what is the state of uh, the dp vectors so uh, again you know to reiterate i would say left l uh, left l of i would actually be representing when i'm looking in the left direction uh, what is the maximum possible streak that starts from left starting in the left direction so i'm looking uh, if i you know look in the left direction i want capital l capital r capital l and so on and similarly for the rest of the definitions so now i'm quickly gonna jump to the um, uh, you know the implementation part i've taken the string input uh, so left l and left r because when we are at the zeroth city we cannot move to the uh, you know any any city onto the left so i've basically initialized it to be equals to zero then i need to basically you know start my loop from one to uh, less than or equals to n to you know fill in these uh, dp states so now uh, if i am basically at a city i i look at the road i minus one and if you know the character is left you know that is basically what we want actually because this would allow us to reach any city to the left so if this is the case what i'll actually do is left l of i would actually be equals to left r of i minus one because uh, as i already told you while uh, you know the explanation part that we want the pattern capital l capital r so cap capital r should be the case for left r of i minus one well basically a city previous to that what we want we want the answer for uh, i minus one wale ka uh, left of r Malab that means uh, we require capital r to be you know the string value uh, at the city i minus one so if that is the case well, basically whatever value would be stored at that particular index plus one would be our answer because we are able to visit the previous city so this would be our answer similarly if we are filling basically left r left r would be equals to zero because you know uh, the character that we encountered was capital l so while looking in the left direction there cannot be any streak possible that begins with capital r similarly uh, you know if uh, we look at the uh, so similarly basically if the character is capital r so we are just basically filling the left vector you know in this particular loop uh, okay so uh, when we are looking in uh, basically the uh, when the basically character is capital r so capital r character actually represents that looking in the left direction we actually encountered a capital r so uh, left of capital r would actually be equals to left of l i minus 1 plus 1 it is quite evident because the uh, streak would actually now we require is capital r capital l and so on and left l of i would actually be equal to zero similarly you know we can actually fill the right vector it is quite you know similar in this fashion we filled the left vector i hope you know you guys can uh, you know easily do the same once we have all these characters ready i already told you what we need to see out we need to just basically see out being at any city i i need to look in the left direction i need to look in the right direction while looking in the left direction i want the character to be left so i would actually uh, see out left l of i plus right r of i plus one because i'm actually gonna visit the city i uh, at which i'm currently present so once i've see out this the question totally you know gets completed and i hope uh, you know the explanation was clear so if you guys have any doubt uh, you know you can uh, write down in the comment section and i'll hope to answer them soon thank you